All right, before I get going too much with the fishing report, some quick announcements. Um, let everybody know we're back in the Western Tribs chasing last minute brown trout. We have some really good dates still available. We have dates available for the steelhead fishing that is coming up. So if any of you want to get into the spring fishing, we have some prime dates for for the steelhead fishing, including some good dates to go chase them with the two-handed rods. So we do have some room on our calendars. Give us a contact with that. Uh, we're still taking names for the um, spade casting clinics, and we got some time left in the fall um, calendar. So if you're interested in fishing with us, it's time to kind of get a hold of us with that. Um, so that's kind of what's going on. Also, keep an eye on the YouTube channel. We're going to be working with some fishing report, you know, besides the reports. Um, we got a couple fly time videos coming up. Please go on to those things. Give them some love. Our fly time videos struggle with viewers and all that. Uh, also, we got a couple tip videos coming up, so keep an eye on for that. Um, the easiest thing to do is if you don't subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon. You know when they come up and you can stay up to date on those things. So we got some videos coming up now. We're going to be in the water a lot more. I'm getting all sorts of signals from Rick here. He's running the camera, so we'll see if we can get to this fishing report without him laughing at me. I think he was telling me to speak up. Yeah, he's telling me to speak up. Well, anyways, it's time to do a fishing report. Obviously, this time of year, I don't do them all that often because conditions generally don't change much. However, we are getting to the end of February. Yeah, it is the end of February. Um, next week is March. So, things are starting to happen a little bit here and there. I am on the Salmon River right now, and we're still in the full winter grind on the Salmon River. Uh, today in this water flow, it looks like we're running about 500 CFS. And... It's above freezing today, so I can tell you right now without taking a temperature, the water is brutally cold. It's, I call it liquid ice. Uh, you step in it and you don't have good boot foots on, you're going to know it. Uh, so the fish are pretty grabby, crabby, not grabby, crabby. They're grumpy. They're chilly. They're just not happy campers. Uh, so the bites we are getting are very um, short, they're very tentative, very soft. Uh, we're still picking them up on egg, um, egg flies, uh, but you got to be right on your hook set. Otherwise, they're going to shake you off. You're going to drop them. But it's a lot of egg flies. We're starting to see a few stone flies showing up, so it looks like we should see that nymph bite starting up here pretty quick, uh, getting going. I think once we start getting a lot of bugs moving, hopefully their disposition will improve a little bit. And I think also... Um, it'll improve a little bit when we get some water temperature in here, but that's typical of this time of the year. They are crabby. Um, you got to have a real slow presentation. We were swinging some flies, um, and but even when you're swinging, you want to keep that fly close to the bottom as you can, and still get a clean swing. And you want that fly to come through that current really slow. So everything, even our our dead drifting with nymphs and egg patterns, is a nice slow drift on the bottom. The, as for um, flies are swinging, keep them small. I mean, the monster I got on the rod today is way bigger than what we should be running. So you want to keep your swinging flies about inch and a half, two inches, and tie them sparse. That helps a lot too. And play around with the colors. Um, just don't. Um, this water's pretty clear and it's kind of low, but pinks will work good. Purples, blues in your mixes. Don't get too carried away with a lot of the hot colors yet. Uh, there's, I don't suspect we're going to see an awful lot of um, water flow increase, even though it's warm. We had some rains yesterday. I think that's going to be more maintenance. I think what snow we have on the top of the Salmon River watershed just absorb most of that rain. There's not a lot of snow, so I don't see any big water flows coming in the next couple of weeks. And as a result of the snow leaving, we might see some water temperature bump here. However, we are going to have a little cold snap coming through as of the time of shooting this video. So that's kind of what's going on on the salmon. Um, out in western New York, we've lost our snow. Uh, some of our creeks are a little high right now. We get some, we're predicting some warm weather coming into this following week. We could get some really good water temperature. That would be a positive. Uh, some of the uh, rivers that are dam controlled, I don't think we're going to see much of an increase yet. So any of the creeks that I got with dams on them, 
those flows are getting low, they're getting clear. For an example, like Oak Orchard, they're getting low and clear. What happens with those steelhead is they retreat. They go back into the estuary. The next pulse of water we get that comes up, it gets a little murky. Those fish plus new fish will come in. Normal winter cycle. Uh, just pay attention to the water flows. As they start coming up, you may want to pay attention to them. If the creek flows come up, we could pull some steelhead in. We could definitely get some warm water. That's going to pull some steelhead. And at home, we are still chasing the last minute brown trout. So that's still going on. And even there, we're swinging some zonkers, streamers for those browns. We're even picking some steelhead up, doing it once in a while. And on some of our steelhead waters, it is still an egg bite. Uh, but a lot of that could change quickly depending on water temperature. If we got some warm um, temperatures coming in, the western tribs could get very interesting very quickly. Uh, this comes under the, the old saying of conditions can and do change quickly, they most certainly do. So that's pretty much what's going on. Um, we still have some openings of books and stuff, so see you on the river, folks. This is Jay at JPEC Guides in Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer, we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer, we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you are interested in any of our outings or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.